Hello, this is Double A with another WWE Supercard for the date of Sunday, I believe November the 6th, give or take. Um, coming at you with a video regarding the Road to, Road to Glory. Um, wasn't able, well nowadays, I used to be to, to PCC, but now I'm kind of going back to the Ring Domination RTG combination. So I wasn't able to get the first Sasha Banks card, but I am after the second one. Right now I'm at 269 points, so just one more point to get the card. Um, this is definitely going to help my deck out in terms of my King of the Ring deck. Plus it's also going to help in my singles deck, in my exhibition. Because yeah, right now I don't have many other... My highest cards right now are a couple of SummerSlam, Charlotte, and an Alexa. And I'm finding that with that combination with the SummerSlam Pros that I have is basically only limiting me to a person or two to choose from. And most of those have a Sasha Banks card already. So this is going to kind of help me out with regard to, to facing and winning those. So With that, I finally... If you follow me on Twitter, you saw that I finally got my SummerSlam poll after I don't know how long. And wound up going getting a Chris Jericho. So pretty happy about that. Wasn't a pro, but was pretty happy with that nonetheless. So now we are gonna get into and go into a couple of other words of note. So we're gonna play there, one point to go. Don't even need to double that one. Hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you got the cards that you're after. So. so with this one with my deck, and I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done with this, is I was able to do tens all the way to the beginning of SummerSlam of the Sasha Banks card and wind up doing sixes all the way to about the 210 to 220 mark. So basically I've been hitting two since then. I don't know where Stu went, but we're back now. And, you know. Whoa. Well, never mind. Forget what you just heard there. Gonna go to silent. Because I'm not about to change out the sound. Very sorry about that. So yeah, we get a little bit of get a little bit of silent meditation here. But yeah, I do hope you got the cards that you're after. Um not sure what the future is going to hold within the next couple of weeks for Supercard. Season 3 is under is pretty much on the horizon there. So no one knows for sure when Season 3 is going to be released. I haven't done a Season 3 video myself, so we are going to go into that on here. So at least I have it for reference point on here in case my videos are the only ones that you happen to watch. So, but there's lots of Lots of good quality streams out there. Luge, um, Super, <laughs> Super Zone Barbecue. I really had, I'm really surprised I had to think about that one. Edge Punk Dude, McDiddy starting to do them more. So, yeah, lots of good streams, lots of good information out there for WWE Supercard information. Kill Moose Kills, another one. Bad Lad Dad, dropping a whole bunch of names there. But you gotta, you gotta give exposure to people. Even if they have the all the exposure they need, give them a little bit more, give them a little bit of thing, because sometimes you just gotta give people the props for what they do. So that in mind, I did get the Banks card with the with that wonderful title. Another reason I was going after that was for the was for the picture in terms of in terms of design, because that happened to be a very beautiful beautiful card there. So now that I've done all my picks there, let's take a look at something real quick. 
because the other car that works that looks beautiful the other car that looks wonderful is that one so let's take a look at that real quick so yeah either car will work just well for this for this car so finally got the Sasha Banks uh, new money in the bank rewards that are going new money in the bank rewards that are happening right now <laughs> sometimes the phone gets a little bit sensitive so yeah right now the top cards are going to be a Dolph Ziggler and an AJ Styles so those are it and like I said we're gonna get you back to my deck real quick here had a couple of additions to it since um, the Sami Zayn I got that as part of my fusion part of my fourth fusion it's a dupe but I already have a pro already so uh, that's gonna hope this can help me out for a bit in terms of my in terms of my RTG deck uh, I did put Bray in here because I kind of forgot that I did pro him from a from a previous King of the Ring did not build him up, so therefore he didn't make the deck. So decided to throw him in here and get the training up, and and gonna get him pro. That's definitely gonna help out my deck too. Um, as you can see, Sasha's gonna be going inside. Uh, so so yeah. Now let's talk about season three. Like I said, I never really did a season three video my life has been kind of crazy and a bit hectic and just needed restructure it's basically in a restructure so that's why you haven't been seeing too many videos for me lately uh, season three is come on come on so yeah this is new this new that it's gonna have wild it's gonna have ranked Ranked is going to be a live environment where you face off against other people. So it's not going to be the computer picking it. The thing that I'm concerned with is, is if they're going to have anything in place to penalize people who purposely really lose. They know they're going to lose. They know they're going to, their rank's going to suffer. So I wonder if they're going to do anything in terms of penalizing those that deliberately pull. I've seen that happen in many other games. So... It's just going to be interesting to see what happens there. Um, there's going to be a Royal Rumble mode as well. Allows you, fit, pit, pit, <laughs> allows you to take 15 every cards. Goes against other players, 15 best cards. Um, of course, the usual things that are going to stay. Money in the Bank, Ring Domination, People's Champions Challenge, King of the Ring, Road to Glory. That's going to be in there as well. There is going to be three tiers involved as well. Um, representing SmackDown, Raw, and NA. There's going to be three different tiers. There's going to be a Hardened, which is going to be your upcoming superstars, in addition to people that are in NXT. You have your Elite, that's going to be your people that's been around for ages, plus your superstars and your legends. And then Ultimate, which is going to be the best of the best. So we'll see how that thing, how that goes. If it's going to be a gradual addition, if they're all going to be available at once, um, how that's going to be a part of the packs, how much the packs are going to be so like i said we'll see how that goes with that so that's going to be it for that part of it and just going to end this up with a bit of story time now with wrestlemania now with wrestlemania with supercard i've been a player since day one um it's been out for i want to say two and a half three years um with supercard with the first season as it started you saw people Blowing out their super rares, their ultra rares, the celebratory moments. They got the epic and legendary um, Survivor WrestleMania. Then the game restarted, and you got yourself back up in your in terms of your tokens, and you got people with your super car, your super rares, your ultra rares. We did celebratory for that because you got up there up to those next ranks. And of course, just like the epics, the legendaries, survivors, the WrestleManias, and with season two. We saw the introduction of the SummerSlam tier, celebratory on that. With rest, with Supercard Season 3, it's pretty much wherever you're at, it's going to go from there. So it's not a start over, it's a continuation. And basically, you get to the point where you feel a bit jaded because you've gotten up to a certain point. You get to SummerSlam, you get those 
ultra rares, you get those epics, you get those survivors, and you're not survi you're not celebrating those moments. You're basically saying, oh, there's fusion food that I could use, and you kind of bypass that. So with this, just, <laughs> just to see who views this video, is as season three comes out, if you're a newbie to the game, if you're a, if you've been around for a while, throw those cards up. If you have Twitter, throw it up on there as well. Use a, what can I say here? Use hashtag double A. That way I'm gonna view it. Um, it's, it's telling me that you viewed the video. I'm gonna celebrate those moments with you, whether I either throw a favorite art on Twitter or if I somehow don't get around through it, I, I'm gonna try to view as many of these as possible. So I'm gonna be celebrating with you as you get up there in those ranks so that so that is so that it is a moment for you that's worth celebrating that doesn't get bypassed by anybody else. So that being said, that's gonna wrap up the video for me today. I'm not sure when my next video is gonna happen. Um, probably throw in later tonight for whatever the team event is, whatever the team event is. But until then, or until my next video, see you guys next time. And so long from ringside. Goodbye, everybody.